It is the 11th of the 10th, 2013, and this is your radioactive reality. Now things are going to change up a little bit. I've read the NRC documents provided by Patrick Henry and uh, Kevin Blanche, and the insanity continues. So we already know number three and number four have already burned dry. They're in the documents. And uh, I'm going to continue reading the headlines like I normally do. But uh, do not be surprised if I call bullshit a lot. So here we go. e, &E News. Olympic athletes and tourists warn they will be likely in danger from Tokyo's elevated radiation levels. Cesium found at almost every venue tested. Enjoy your Olympics, Tokyo. You see nuclear professor Schill. Radiation levels we had in California after 3.11 were higher than they are now in the water by the Fukushima plant. Bullshit. <coughs> it was quote-unquote interesting. Reactors and fuel pools still pose a serious threat. Thanks. Doctors warn about radioactive substances from Fukushima coming to the West Coast in 2014. 2014? Consider keeping kids away from the beach. Perhaps pregnant women as well. You gotta think about that. The tsunami debris, it's already on the coasts. It's already on the coasts. Why is the radiation taking so flippin' long then, huh? <sighs> Surging radiation levels in the sea around Fukushima plant. Hear that, U.S. Berkeley professor? TEPCO, quote, high density of strontium. Expert bursts of contamination are likely from water entering a pocket of radioactivity. Just a pocket. Don't worry, folks. Physicians in California concerned about fish with Fukushima contamination. I'm eating more fruits and vegetables to fight cell damage from the radiation. Quote, get a pocket Geiger, Geiger counter. I'll tell you what. You grab your pocket Geiger counter and you take your butt down to Walmart. And you hit their seafood aisle see how long you last. Fukushima doctor, cancer found in over 40 children. We believe it's related to the nuclear disaster. Physician, leukemia cases to increase in the next few months? Question mark. <laughs> Has Chernobyl taught us nothing? Here's a good one. Rice grown nearby Fukushima plant cleared for sale. Farmer, quote, I would dare not eat it. We feel guilty about growing it and selling it. Then why are you? Why are you? Immediate release, 1,400 becquerels per M3 of radioactive cesium in ocean off of Fukushima Daiichi. Highest reading to date. Highest reading to date. Had not been detected previously at the location. Quote suggests that a toxic water leak at the plant may not have been contained. <sighs> Pro nuclear expert, melted nuclear fuel cores could end up in the Pacific Ocean from the quake. They'd still be underwater and cooled, though we certainly don't want to see that happen. Now think about that for a second. Three nuclear reactors, big blobs of tons of corium, molten mass has burned through the buildings and into the environment. How far do they have to go in Fukushima to reach the Pacific Ocean and settle in a big old pool of water? It's a lot of steam coming out of number three, isn't there? Uh, typhoon collapsing Fukushima pool, quote, a very real concern. I don't know what it is they're going to do about that. You know, um, the collapsing fuel pools are a big concern, even though they've already been ignited and burned out. But if they were to fall over, more things can seriously happen. And with the uh, salt water degrading the metal and the, the radiation degrading the concrete and everything else, it's only a matter of time before these buildings start falling down. It's only a matter of time. And they're feeding this to us slowly. You know, we're frogs in the boiling pot, and it's starting to simmer, folks. It's starting to simmer. Highest radiation level seen in two years near Fukushima reactor. Surges more than 1,000% over previous day. 
and again to be expected <laughs> Japanese Prime Minister criminal we've learned the most in the most painful way from Fukushima and its aftermath overseas help is needed to contain the problems we are facing at the plant a professor California bluefin may may have been contaminated by radioactive substances from Fukushima that traveled across the Pacific rather than con contamination off the coast of Japan we don't know exactly listen to their words exactly what is happening they know what's happening but they don't know exactly what is happening flipping lawyers Vancouver Aquarium blog, areas with rivers of body parts from sea stars, strange behavior reporting in sea otters. Um, Vancouver, British Columbia got inundated with a lot of radioactivity after the fallout and the initial blast. Um, all that stuff is running downhill in the streams and in the rivers and out to the ocean again. We're just getting started, folks. We're just getting started. Fukushima workers undergoing treatment for radiation exposure. TEPCO, six people have been irradiated again. A big mistake like this continue to happen again and again. Essential that we put something into place to stop this. Well, what do you expect when you got subcontractors working for less than $100 a day that don't know a damn thing dealing with this situation? What do you expect? Former top U.S. nuclear official, removal of melted fuel at Fukushima may not be possible. Well, you know, I kind of tend to agree with it. We're going to go down there, get a bunch of suicidal people with buckets and scoop it out, knowing they're going to die. How are we going to get it out of there, folks? How are we going to get it out of there? Former Prime Minister of Japan, I realize Fukushima disaster could have been a hundred times worse than Chernobyl. Could have been? Liar! High plutonium-241 activity detected over 30 kilometers from the Fukushima plant. Additional research suggests, quote, long-distance transport of plutonium. There are reports of the military out there picking up the pellets. Where'd they put them? Where are the reports on that? The insanity continues. Japanese professor, Fukushima lakes are catastroph catastrophically large if government admits help is needed. Tokyo Olympics may be impossible. Quote, so unprecedented that there is no solution. It's so unprecedented, there's no solution. And here we go. Fukushima Diary, Daily News. TEPCO, suppression chamber of reactor number two is more deteriorated than expected. Apparently the salt water has been doing good works inside those nuclear reactors. Nearly half of the 350 contaminated water tanks can't even last for five years. And that's under good conditions. Earthquakes, saturated ground. 120 becquerels per kilogram from two bags of rice from uh, Manasoma, Fukushima. All the other bags are to be shipped. Fukushima Prefixture measured cesium-134-137 over the safety limit for two bags of rice produced uh, in Minnesota in the Fukushima Prefixture in 2013. The reading was equally 120 becquerels about both of the bags for some reason. Fukushima Prefectural Government announced on October 8, 2013, they implemented the screening test for 52 bags of rice produced by this specific area. Now, the limit in Japan is 100 becquerels. A hundred. The limit in the Canada is a thousand. And the limit in the United States is twelve hundred. Where do you think this rice is going? Where do you think this rice is going? China let it in for eight hundred or less. And, uh, informidable news. Chairman of Japanese Nuclear Regulatory blames declining work for morale. Uh, declining worker morale for Fukushima leaks and problems. They're blaming the leaks and problems on worker morale. 
On Wednesday, the chairman of Japanese Nuclear Regulation Authority suggested that one of the causes of the radioactive leaks and other problems at Fukushima is due to the decline in worker morale. Tanaka said that the problems were, would be prevented if the workers had strong morale in the positive work environment. <laughs> The majority of the workers on site of Fukushima Jap, uh, Diachi are subcontracted and have no tenure of, or authority amongst the circles of TEPCO workers. Why are the subcontracted workers there? Because TEPCO does not want unnecessarily expose their key site personnel who have been the most knowledgeable and experienced uh, with the site while stuck in the current feed and bleed doldrums with no obvious path forward. The workers who work at the plant before March 11th disaster have been most intimate knowledge of the site and the reactor buildings. They fill the gaps where the blueprints leave off. you got to remember they can't get in these buildings anymore. Um, it's insane. Uh, where do we go? Where do we go? TEPCO is stuck in a holding pattern and using expendable subcontracted workers who are paid minimal amounts set in to do the most dangerous work and now get blamed for all the mistakes. Yay, TEPCO. And finally tonight, uh, i got a story on World Nuclear News. Now, this is definitely a shill pro-nuclear website. NRC forced to shut down. The NRC is shut down as of the 10th of October, 2013. America's budgetary crisis has hit the country's nuclear safety regulatory, which will cease non-essential work for today until its industrial collected funding is allowed to flow from federal budgets. Check it out. The NRC is 90% funded by fees collected from the nuclear operators. 90% funded by the nuclear operators. But this is held by the U.S. Treasury and has to be appropriated back to the NRC by Congress. With political deadlock over the federal budget in Congress, there's been a progressive shutdown of U.S. government departments. So they're saying uh, they're not going to take place in any more drills. They're keeping the inspectors on the nuclear plants on site to make sure everything's safe. Uh, they're going from, where is it? They're going from 3,900 employees to 300. But the trick is, is they're privately funded. They're privately funded. That's about all I have for you today, of course. Uh, if I missed anything, please let me know. Attach your comments or uh, send me a private message. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.